can you actually move from milli equivalents per milliliter to percentage strength? And if so, how exactly do you do that? That actually is the real question. Hello, this is Dr. Damkwa. And if this is your first time here and you'd like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right to it. This question was asked by one of our subscribers on YouTube and it's a very interesting question which I believe will be of tremendous benefit to the entire community. So the question says, magnesium chloride is available as magnesium chloride hexahydrate in an injectable solution that supplies 1.97 milli equivalents of magnesium per milliliter. What is the percent strength of magnesium chloride hexahydrate in this solution? So let's start off by unpacking the question and a number of things come to mind. Can you actually move from milli equivalents per milliliter to percentage strength? And if so, how exactly do you do that? That actually is the real question. And so the way we want to proceed is identify the information that has been given us in the question and we have been told that you have 1.9 milli equivalents of magnesium per milliliter so we can identify a quantity milli equivalents per milliliter and that is some kind of a concentration so we can start off by using a derivative of the milli equivalents equation and what that actually will look like is we will have milli equivalents per milliliter being equal to milligrams per milliliter times valence divided by molecular weight. Now the reason we are starting off with the equation is we are going to solve this question in a number of steps and the strategy will be to first determine what the milligrams per milliliter actually is and once we've determined that quantity we will go ahead and convert the milligrams to grams and then use the definition of percentage strength to determine what the actual percent strength will be for the magnesium chloride hexahydrate in this solution so in order to determine what the milligrams per milliliter is we actually need to know what the valence of the compound is and so we start off with the molecular formula of magnesium chloride hexahydrate and that will be MgCl2 hexahydrate so you have six molecules of water now when you put this in an aqueous environment it's going to dissociate into the magnesium cation and two chloride anions now those are the two species that will be present in the water because the water itself becomes part of water so that doesn't really dissociate so the valence of the compound is actually going to be the charge on either the cation or the anion so it's going to be either the absolute of the charge on the cation which is plus two or the absolute of the charge of the anion which would be two times negative one which is negative two the absolute of that is also going to be two so the valence of the compound is two also, the other piece of information that we need is the molecular weight. The molecular weight of magnesium chloride hexahydrate is actually 203.3 grams per mole. And what we actually need it to be is a milligrams per millimole. So when you do the conversion, you're actually going to be dividing and multiplying by a thousand, which gives you the exact same value, but then you will have units of milligrams per millimole. So just for completeness, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here. So you have the 203.3 grams per mole. So it's gram mole. And then we know that one mole is equivalent to a thousand millimole. And also one gram is equivalent to a thousand milligrams. So the grams will cancel out, the moles will cancel out. Now you're in milligrams per millimole, but also the thousand will cancel out. And so what that will mean is you actually do have the same value, which is 203.3 milligrams per millimole. So now that we have all the information that we need to put back into the chain, 
we can go ahead and substitute all those values into the original equation that we started off with so for milli equivalents per milliliter that's 1.97 so that goes right here 1.97 and that is going to be equal to milligrams per milliliter times the valence which is 2 divided by the molecular weight which is 203.3 so we can go ahead and solve for the milligrams per milliliter and that would imply that we have milligrams per milliliter being equal to 1.97 times 203.3 divided by 2. And that's going to be equal to 200.25 milligrams per milliliter. Now, what we want to do is, because the definition of percentage strength is grams in a hundred milliliter we want to convert the milligrams to grams so that our manipulations are simpler so what that would look like is we would have 200.25 milligrams per milliliter and we have a thousand milligrams giving us one gram so the milligrams cancel out and then we end up with 0 0.2 grams per milliliter so we can use this information to determine what the percentage strength is going to be and so the way that would look like is we'll have 0 0.2 grams and since it's per milliliter that implies that it's in one milliliter and based on the definition of percentage strength we need to figure out how many grams would be in 100 milliliter so when we solve for the unknown here which is x that will give us the value of the percentage strength so we can go ahead and do the math and x is going to be equal to 0 0.2 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 1 milliliter and that will give 20 percent so the percentage concentration of the percentage strength is 20 percent which implies that the 1.97 milli equivalents per milliliter is equivalent to 20% weight by volume. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.